a variety of things, but kind of a one to understand the depth of that one. And where does that fit in what you're saying? Here? As I've read what you have here, I think it's there, but you just need, you're, it's more important that you believe that or don't believe it. Board speaks with one voice or not at all. Individual members have no authority over district. Once a vote is taken, decisions must be supported. If you have an outlier. We don't. And you don't, according to Tiffany. <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> what were you, abstract? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you need to understand, and here's where I'm going to push you a little bit. And, and I, I am not speaking against uh, Michael. I'm just telling you as a reality that if you are going, you need to have the group governance call the school board control the agenda and not allow one individual who has no authority by himself or if it were a she herself they don't they have no control they can create all kinds of problems for you but you have to stand if you get a if you get a yeah. oh, oh, so Jim, maybe to piggyback on to what Catherine said related to number four and I wish I had uh, because I am going to speak about something specific to Michael because at the bottom of his letter there is a reference to law. Does anybody happen to have a copy of one of his most recent no, letters? Right, right, right. Um, I think I think do you? Because it relates to what you're saying. Because that's one of the issues I think is important for us to talk about is that he does feel like the law has given him right. the authority to speak as an individual who's been for elected. So um, it's not on that one, but it's at the very bottom under where he signs. Okay. And it so says Shalom page. and Una of Let's see. Um, I'm sorry. These are it, just the letters it's not, from the law. Usually it's not the bottom, but it references the law that talks specifically to body corporate and that he has the ability because he's been elected. elected by his constituents to not be, um, what's the words that are used? And I can't remember. Anyway, it's something that I think that I can, I can. is the letters he gave out the by him, but yet yeah, that's what gives him his empowerment. Well, I, I'm not an, an attorney. Can, I'm not an attorney, but I, I would tell you that in your in your laws and in your guidebook, you have statements that you speak as one right, as that one. there. There is no individual. I mean, you you would you would have in order to be that. Okay. I think it's still true that the individual members have no authority over yes, the district. Yes, I agree. Right. Yes. And that's sometimes where I feel like we get off track. I agree. That, that yeah. uh, I can find that piece of the law, but what it says is that the district. I mean, the board as a whole or as a body corporate, right. it is a body corporate, yep. but it cannot restrict the ability of individual, individual board, board members, members to represent their constituents or speak out. And, right. and I think sometimes um, you just don't have the same interpretation of what that means. I certainly but I think where it's going to become important, because just because we're talking about this isn't going to make it go away. I think you have to be fairly consistent as when somebody calls you and says, well, Michael says, you say, let me, let me explain the process. This is what we went through. There was a call for the vote. The vote was taken and it was six to one or it was five right, to two. Right. And th that is the board's will and that's the decision that's been made. Whether those that didn't like it or not. And, and I'm not opposed to having, um, I, I wouldn't want to have it, I'm not looking <clears throat> for 7 0 votes and everything yeah. you do because oh. that gets you the rubber stamp mentality real yeah. fast. <laughs> From an idealistic point of view, I totally agree with you. Mm -hmm. But I, I cannot control, or nor can you control, mm -hmm. somebody, uh, and I'll take, it, I'll take it out of the realm. We're, we're working with Nashville. Nashville has, has a 13 member board. Whoa. And they, they, they run. They run African American half white half in a sense. The vote is always right down the middle. 
So, so that's so, and it doesn't make any difference if I go and say you got to support this because I don't need to support anything. I'm elected, and I, so, so you can share that. You can only control your own behavior, and I think that's where the consistency of you five. And I'm not trying to do a split here. Six, Just give me out. Six. If you agree and it's a five-one vote, then I think you. Seven and Oh, five of them. Oh, okay. Excuse me. <laughs> five two. This is a six-one vote then. Okay. I'm just trying to work off of kind of the demeanor of one exceptional person we have right now, right. who will consistently be against the peace. And again, do not let one distractor drive the will of the rest of you. So. And strategies to keep that from happening in any scenario. I mean, what are the strategies are the to keep strategies? that? Because it's very, I, I love that you're saying that, but when it gets down to something, it's very difficult to keep that from happening. So, for example, I called the question once. Um, but what are some other strategies to keep that from happening? Um, um. Other, other than if you've got some re, um, no. protocols in place on, you know, Discuss. I think, yeah, I think we have to. We may our next training may have to do something with a really in-depth Robert Rules of Order. Yes. Let's do it during a board meeting. Yeah, not that's that's a good. Uh, yeah. Well, yeah. The, I mean, like what I think are issues. Right, and I've sat with both of you and yeah. looked at the agenda. What do you think it is he wants to pull off? And right. we can't tell. Right. And we we like really try to obvious. anticipate. But again, I think you're you're re you're sure. trying to work on individual that's yeah. just consuming. My, my view is consuming, it's like consuming so, much so much time. So if you can get some systems that can, can prevent that from occurring, I think it's going to be helpful. Well, and too. maybe one thing that and Janet and I have had this conversation, maybe one thing that, that we need to do, and it will it'll kind of put a, a wrinkle in, in operations of the district for a little bit, but one of the reasons that they want me to be notified is so I can be prepared to answer any questions that come up and when I don't get the questions or when I don't know what they are and they're not presented to me in a clear way, what I probably should say is we'll gather that information and we'll bring it back to the next meeting. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I mean, there's Less only the a time few things. Item. Yeah. yeah. But well, I think it's, it's also always meant to though. be a surprise attack yeah. when he does this. But I think what's really important, though, is things are on the consent agenda to move the work of the district forward. That's right. So if we're not able to respond and we say we can't get you that information, yeah, we're still going to need the board to move forward on those items right. because holding up the consent agenda mm -hmm. or holding up the HR report, right. that's significant. Yes, yes. That's and, right. and I think that's a great direction. I don't have okay. But I also it. believe that it should be must. Yeah, I, you I, must, I, it's must tell the must. Yes. Otherwise, you don't, you know. And, and if not, we're not going to be able to have the information, have the information. for you and, so we'll and we're still it. going to want it to be moved we forward. We will pull it and we will vote on it. I appreciate everybody's opinion. I, I really do. And I just, I, I keep going back to number four. And when Darlene and Jim were writing that up there, if nothing changes, what is likely to likely occur? Mm -hmm. I just think how much time we have spent today really focused on one person, right. the actions of one person. Right. And I just think if we could just take just some of that time and talk about student achievement right. or talk I about I something agree. like that, I mean, just how much more effective would we, we be? And I, that was really powerful when that question was written mm -hmm. up there. So. Yeah. I do think it's good that we have these discussions and, and things may have to get somewhere else and I just don't feel that all six of you should always be the ones to let it roll off your backs. Right. If that doesn't work, I mean, we're, we're seeing We can that. all have tasers. <laughs> or at least an intervention. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, I just think that's important. You're putting, really a, uh, you, you're putting an employee up against an elected, an elected official or an in government. Right. Oh, yeah, or an That's employer. Right. Yeah, right. yeah. Right. No, you're right. And there, I, the other, what I would add to that is, I think that it is the responsibility of the conducting officer to control the dialogue yeah. in the yeah. meeting. Yeah. And yeah. if that requires that you call a recess, exactly, it requires that you say gavel somebody yeah. to silence. Yeah. You have to be willing yeah. to do that, and sometimes it's yeah. very difficult. Mm -hmm. yeah. But I also think that Rosemary's right. There, you ha you're going to have to say, "I." There are some things I care about. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. That's right. So that's I can't control. That's true. Yeah. Mm -hmm. what no, people I put on their blocks. Yeah, that's I can't. right. That's right. I can't control. Yeah. And I wouldn't worry about. So. I, quite frankly, I guess if I were in your shoes, I wouldn't worry about it. I mean, when I was here. I mean, I got the blogs. I was put on his his blog list, and I'm thinking, okay, how many readers does he have? I don't think it's 
getting so, that far out there. So I think so what you have to focus on is, but again, right the, strat the strategies for just diffusing it in the moment so that we can actually yes. get board yeah. work done. Yeah. Exactly. And that's building right. agendas yes. that make that easier. Yeah. Yes. Make that's it easier right. to that's say, what we, like we need to control mm -hmm. right. 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 the agenda. Is, um, sometimes, sometimes imposing consequences exacerbates rather than... Mm -hmm. I agree with that. I agree so with that. If you're going to ground well, your kids, you're grounded. Yeah. And, and, and if you know <laughs> psychology... <laughs> One of the first things they will say to you is that positive behaviors or negative behaviors will elicit the same reaction. Yeah. If you want to change a behavior, you're neutral with it. You, you, it's, it's let the let the silence do the heavy lifting. If he spouts, and again being specific, if Michael spouts off on something, I would have complete silence. That's going to echo really loud to the rest of everybody that he said what rather than immediately so so sometimes the new the silence will lift that that comment because he's looking for a reaction right. yes. because once once again as an observer I'm gonna you're creating strain among all some of you in the room right now in my opinion when earlier to this morning we were talking about these straight these strong relationships we're mm -hmm. developing and all of a sudden, the one outlier, and I'm, that, I don't mean that in a negative, just right, that's right. the fact, right. that the one outlier is driving some controversy um, among us a little bit. So you, you can't allow that. So if it's diversity training that needs to be done, do it. Whether he comes or not, at least at some point, other people need to understand what is occurring. That's, that's to my point of the code of ethics. You know the center. Yeah. Other people need to understand what's occurring. Yeah. I think that um, it was well said. We started off today talking about high-performing mm -hmm. governance. Okay. Now all of a sudden we've narrowed it down to this one individual affecting your mm -hmm. relationship and working. Don't worry about him for the moment. And that's easy for me to say because I'm not here at those board meetings. But the reality is you've got <laughs> six of your members that. While you have disagreements and different points of agreement, you you are coming together for the greater good of, of the school district. Work off of that. Work off of your agenda, not his. Yeah. It was just, but I think we exercise again. Just keep exercising that that recess. Yeah. So that there's there's not this audience or this okay. perceived audience, audience that can okay. kind of go it on and. You know, we maybe once, and I think that we can also, you know, use the board handbook too because we have the ability at any time to call a recess. And maybe if things begin to to escalate in the meeting, we call a recess, yeah. and you know, the recess is however long we need it to be. Or if we got a case where, again, an outlier board member says, "I'm not buying into any of this." Mm -hmm. At least six of you know this is the way we're going to operate, and then you'll have to deal with the outlier uh, a little bit differently. But I think that one is, is, is really a good one, and it's not just...